prepared to be scared because Wakewood, one of the first Hammer horror films to be filmed in the last 30 years, was filmed in Donegal and directed by Irishman David Keating. Now I'm here for the Red Carpet Gala to speak to some of the cast, including Aidan Gillen, who's one of the Irish talent spotlights for the festival. You're part of the first Hammer horror film to be shot in 30 years. How does that feel? Um, well, what should we say? Uh, it's been a long time coming, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I watched a lot of a lot of them on the telly when I was a kid, and uh, so you know, I didn't really associate this script with Hammer. But when you when I you know when when we were doing it, and now I've seen it, I realise it is a homage to that old style with its own new style. You know, I agree with that, Timothy. <laughs> I think you've just hit the nail on the head there. All right. Aidan, you play a vet in the um, in the movie. Now, I worked on Ear to the Ground and I have never seen as gory a thing as when you were cutting the cow open. I went out right with a vet up in Donegal and within, like, I'd say, 24 hours, I had performed a caesarean on a cow. I had put down a dog. I'd learned the art of stitching animals. I had my arm inside a cow up to the shoulder. I'd say with, like... Another week of that, I probably could have qualified as a full practice in vet. And, um, but you shouldn't... Um, that that, that uh, type of uh, caesarean I performed, you shouldn't try at home because that was actually a, just a Stanley blade and that all. Now, Timothy, you came on board. It was all a little bit dramatic how you came on board the film. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, well, what happened to me was uh, I was a... I think I was a late replacement for so- somebody more eminent. But, uh, no, I... I I received the script. My agent phoned me and said, "There's this script. It's about to start shooting in a week. Can you read it and give them a decision in a in a day?" And I was in a car and I forgot that I was living in the 21st century. And my wife said, "Well, just tell them to send it to the script." I was driving down to the uh, southwest coast of England, and my wife said, "I'll drive. You read the script." But the battery ran out just before the end. And I said, well, I phoned my mum and said, I don't care about the end, this is so good, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Aidan, you're one of the Irish talent spotlights for the festival. Um, how did you feel when you heard about that? Yeah, I thought that was pretty good and would give me an opportunity to uh, promote the two films that I'm in the festival, this being one of them, and the other being a film that's on Friday called Treacle Jr. I guess that's the kind of idea, isn't it? It gives you a chance to uh, just point that light or deflect it onto the other right. things and the I other think people. The politi- politicians call it raise awareness. Um, Wakewood is one of the first Hammer Horrors um, to be filmed in 30 years. How does it feel to be a part of that, Davis? It's great. I mean, it's a fantastic tradition of, of uh, filmmaking and uh, it was a great match. In the graveyard, it was phenomenally cold and uh, we were making um, rain, so the fire brigade was pumping this kind of sub-zero water up into the into the air and landing on on Aiden and Eva who uh, and they were they were just absolutely frozen uh, it was it was it was a very tough night that yeah and kind of in this day and age it's getting a little bit harder to scare people do you think can people be genuinely scared anymore by film I don't think it's getting harder to scare people um, I think we scare ourselves so, um, you know, as, as storytellers, what we do is we allow people to explore that edge of fear. And that's not for everybody, but if you like exploring that edge, then uh, that's what we do. And just to finish up, Timothy, happy birthday in advance for Sunday. Last year when you were here, it was the day before it was your birthday. Isn't oh, it nice? It? Yeah, isn't it nice that we have a festival for your birthday around this well, time? Thank every you. I am so delighted that you spend all this money on just my birthday. Is it your birthday? Get, yeah, it's my birth. No, it's my birthday on Oscar Day. I oh. just hope it's a good omen for whoever deserves it. Yeah, well, happy birthday in advance. <laughs> thank you, my friend. Guys, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank Cheers. You.